AIDS coming from out of nowhere into the homosexual community. What have homosexuals, what are homosexuals doing today that they didn't do 6,000 years ago? And why is it we all of a sudden in 1980s have AIDS? Is there any connection between AIDS and the Legionnaire's disease and biological experimentation going on with the CIA, the USIA, the NSA, and all the other government agencies that you don't know anything about? Is it possible that there could be some sort of a biological experiments going on, some of them going awry, some of them purposely allowed to go awry to see how far they will go? Is there any kind of a rhyme or reason for the things that are happening today? Keep in mind, too, that what the government, what your government pays for, it gets. If you are paid to do something for the government, they will extract from you exactly what they have paid for. When we understand that, then we look at universities and schools government-financed institutions of education and see the kind of students and the kind of education that's being turned out by these government-financed schools, logic will tell you that if what is being turned out in those schools was not in accord with what the state and the federal government wanted, then it would change it. The bottom line is that the government is getting what they have ordered they're getting what they have paid for. They do not want your children to be educated. They do not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, game shows, television shows, amusement parks, drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. And all American citizens, I think, have suspected something like this is going on.